You wanted to know if you have a history of a baby that's in the posterior position during labor and delivery in the past, if it means that future babies will be posterior, and if a posterior baby means that you have to have a C-section. And the answer to both of those questions, thankfully, is no. About 15 to 20 percent of babies are in the occiput posterior or, or OP position during labor, but by the time it's time for the, uh, the woman to push, when she's 10 centimeters, only 5 percent of babies are in the OP position. And what this all means basically is that the baby is head down in the pelvis, so that's good, but this is referring to the orientation of their head within the mother's pelvis. And it does make a difference with how easy it is to push a baby out. Imagine a baby in the fetal position with their arms and legs tight against their body and their head curled down. And with their head curled down and tucked, they're going to more easily fit through the pelvis. And so if the baby is in the anterior position, this means that they are looking at the mother's spine. Their head is tucked and they are able to fit through the pelvis more easily. Essentially, in the anterior position, the baby is trying to fit the smallest diameter of their head through the, the mother's pelvis, and this is a good thing. And in most cases, the baby fits well. But if their head is turned to the side, or if they're facing up and looking at the mother's belly button, then this really increases the size of the diameter trying to fit through the mother's pelvis and may make it harder for them to fit. But like I said before, only 5% of babies are in the posterior position when it comes time to push. And most babies figure it out. They spontaneously rotate into the right position. But sometimes a doctor has to go and help to manually rotate the head into the anterior position so that they can fit. And as long as a mother is able to push a baby out, whether they be in the anterior or posterior position and the baby's tolerating labor and contractions well, then the mother is able, able to deliver vaginally. But if the mother's been pushing for a really long time and the, the baby's just not really descending in the pelvis, no progress is being made, this could be due to their size, they're just not fitting through the pelvis, or it could be due to the orientation of their head. And if the doctor can't get them to rotate and fit, then a C-section might be necessary. But just because it happened in the past does not mean it has to happen in the future. As for a C-section, if a woman had a C-section delivery in the past, you know, whether it was due to the baby's orientation in the pelvis or not, um, a C-section may be war warranted in future pregnancies. And this is a discussion that a doctor would have with a woman because it's really based on her circumstances and on what's going to be safest for her and the baby. Ultimately, if you have questions about your circumstances, talk with your OB provider and they'll be able to give you tailored information and advice. If you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountainmoms and recommend us to your friends and family too.